it's here. First cool front of the season, 59 degrees. We're gonna head out and uh, shut down that chiller plant today that we checked out last week for that chill water pump that was blowing fuses. So let's get at it while it's nice and cool. Got our uh, green light to shut down, and currently we're 72.4 amps here, and we are still uh, hot on that first fuse there. So we're gonna concentrate our first efforts there. Um, let's see the rest of those fuses in the normal. So, probably the majority of our issue is here. So let's power this thing down and uh, get in it. We got about 30 to 60 minutes here to do what we gotta do. All right, we've got power off here. Just gonna confirm. <clears throat> Only power is still gonna be on this line side of the breaker, 280. 280, 279, and there's nothing here. The side we're going to be working on is our fuses. There's nothing there to ground. I pulled the control fuse, so there's no control power going on either. Nothing's lit up here, so we're safe to get in there. All right, got the fuses pulled. You can see better now in that it's pretty dark in there. Um, you can kind of see the, the points there for the breaker. Uh, nothing looks really charred in there. Um, two, definitely looks better. And three, not so bad. But this one definitely looks looser. Uh, so we're going to do some <clears throat> tightening up. You can see how loose that is there. And these are pretty tight. So definitely got something going on there. All right. So uh, pretty much nothing I can do with that. Um, this is probably going to be turned over to the electricians. Um, that is definitely loose. Looks like there's a crack back there in the, the base of this. And so this just attaches to a couple wires that are soldered on and attaches to that armature that closes back when you uh, close the breaker. So this side's good. We're gonna uh, take apart the starter. And definitely got some pitted contacts there. Anyway, if you can see in there. Uh, we can clean those up. Um, let me just double check all the, the lugs there, make sure they're tight. We don't have uh, anything loose there. But I think that's going to be the source of our problem um, just out of the gate there. All right, before I pull these, I just went ahead and marked which one was one, two, and three. And did the same in here just so they go back to the same ones. All right, so I went through, took all those off, cleaned them up. Um, they weren't really too bad. They got a lot of meat left on them still and cleaned up these. So I marked everything so that we go back on the same contacts. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put this back together, carefully put our fuses back in. And one thing I'm gonna do is uh, make out those wires. All right, back secured. Nothing's binding here. All right, here we go. Let's see. This 
is one. Doing pretty good. Two. Well done. And three. Hopefully that looks pretty good. All right, well I'm here. Might as well just ohm it out. It's one and three. There we go. Two and three. And do one and two. decent all right one more step I just went and checked all my Polaris taps um, most of them are really darn tight uh, I got like maybe a quarter turn out of one or two of them but everything looks to be okay in here so put this all back together and get this plant fired back up all right everything is back on Users and better and amp draw roughly the same. So I don't think much is gonna change here other than this breaker. It hasn't been on very long, so we're not gonna get much in the camera here. It's starting to heat up there. It's definitely a source of a problem there. All right, I guess we'll uh, turn this one over to Mr. Electrician. We didn't get too warm, not too bad. You see our outdoor temperature in the cooling tower. And she's going. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Drop some comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.